And on the red carpet that leads out to the victory podium, you will see Ben Johnson, Carl Lewis, and Linford Christie, the gold, silver, and bronze medalists. Ladies and gentlemen, the Olympic victory ceremony for the men's 100 meters. Now being paraded to the victory podium. And what a proud moment this is for all Canadians. Disappointment for Carl Lewis, who had hoped to become the first to ever successfully defend, but he has to look back in this race and say to himself, I ran my fastest time ever, and still it was not good enough. Indeed. Indeed, he certainly gave of his best, but we saw that last glance of desperation as we saw that frontal shot when we isolated onto Carl Lewis's lane, and it was that glance across which said, he's out of range, and I've run out of distance, I'll have to settle for the silver, but there is the world record holder, and the Olympic champion, the world champion, the world record holder, and now the Olympic champion. The gold medalist, Ben Johnson, Canada. Well, we didn't hear our national anthem played to recognize the Canadian victory at the Winter Olympic Games in Calgary. But here in Seoul, South Korea, all Canadians are standing proudly. Olympic gold medalist, world record holder, Ben Johnson, silver medalist, Carl Lewis, and bronze medalist, Linford Christie, posing for a series of pictures at the victory podium, standing tallest, Ben Johnson, with that 979 clocking. In the space of just over a year, two world record runs, 983 in Rome at the World Championships, 979 here in Seoul. The results of the As Ben Johnson disappears under the tunnel, we will see him again.